know where Frodo leaves. I'm going on an adventure. He's got his backpack, he's ready to go. And then he comes back a haggard, beaten down hobbit. <laughs> that's what travel will do for you. When you're traveling, there's a lot that's out of your control, but there are some things you can take ownership and control over and it'll make traveling a lot simpler. Let's get through security without all the drama. Going down. Also nice to be so familiar with this airport. I'm here like every week, it feels like. I know like the back of my hand. It's a little bit of a hack, a little bit of a cheat, but when I'm at the airport, instead of paying for those carts, I usually just go to curbside pickup or ticketing. There's usually a free cart just floating there. Pick it up instead of paying the $5 for a cart, but then return it. And then you're doing your service for using the free cart. For those longer trips with a big group, snagging a free cart is gold. I'm a big proponent of TSA PreCheck. It has changed my life and how I travel. The biggest barrier for most people is getting to the airport to sign up for the program. My advice, plan time before or after a trip when you're already at the airport to go and take care of all that TSA PreCheck business. Schedule the appointment if needed, bring all the necessary documentation and save an extra trip to the airport. Even if you travel more than twice a year, it'll be worth it. It's minimal cost and it lasts five years. Check my gate real quick since I'm going straight through security. No check in the bag. I always get up to the front and don't have my ID ready. So have my ID out and ready this time. If you don't have pre-check, a little planning ahead can save you a lot of TSA hassle. Double check those carry-ons and make sure everything in there is TSA approved so you don't get stopped or flagged. Nothing sneaky in here. Without pre-check, make sure those electronics are easily accessible or just remove them before you even get to security. And your wardrobe matters too. Avoid wearing belts and slip on shoes can really help too. What's really helpful is the TSA app. It'll give you predicted wait times for the date and time that you're gonna be at the airport. This really comes in handy for airports you're not familiar with over holidays and when you're running late. Make your next trip hassle-free with a little preparation and knowing exactly what to expect. Not only do I tend to travel a lot, I've had to streamline how I travel because I'm always running late. <laughs> So being able to streamline going through security, having my bag packed, all that has really helped because I'm not really ever on time. I'm here, I'm a little late, 10 minutes late. <laughs> so rushing. But the flight's a little bit delayed, so that might save me. Always, always cutting it close to get on those flights. As much as I can, avoid baggage claim. It's not worth the lost luggage, unless you're going on a longer trip and it's necessary. I want to inspire you to get more out of traveling by bringing less. Let's stop checking bags. If it's a short trip, just a couple of days, no need to check a bag. Let's challenge ourselves to just use carry-ons. Carrying on will save you a ton of time. You won't need to get to the airport super early to check bags. And when you get to your destination, you already have what you need and you're ready to go. The rule of thumb is give yourself the maximum amount of space allowed for carry-ons and limit yourself to what you really need. Lighter travel is gonna be happier travel. I will say this has been my ultimate carry-on configuration. I even have extra room in here, which is nice. Usually I pack it full, no spare space. But I'm planning on shopping, so I wanna make sure there's room for fun stuff. Between luggage in the bin and a bag underneath your seat, that's a lot of space. It's all about just packing the right stuff. That personal item underneath the seat can be very roomy, like this duffel that meets the maximum requirements. Overhead luggage sizes are pretty standard, but I like to go for the larger sizes to maximize all that room. And a suitcase with that expander can give you that bonus room for a little shopping. I used to have to travel with all the comforts of home, but instead, consider what your hotel or Airbnb will provide and save a little bit of space. When it comes to something like my skincare routine, I like to keep it simple while on the road. Every trip is gonna be different, but try to bring the most versatile items that you'll actually use and wear. I started to be more efficient when I would come back from trips and realized how many items I didn't even use. Like stick with one hoodie instead of two. I didn't even wear this one. With so many airlines charging for check bags, limiting yourself keeps money in the bank. Okay. I've always wanted to be one of those people where you get off the plane and they're holding the sign with your name on it. Never, it's never me. It's never me. Ooh, Starbucks, oh gosh, coffee. Coffee's trying to get me. So you're at the airport and you realize you've spent a ton of money on snacks and food before you even get to your destination. Let's save some dough for souvenirs instead of snacks. Gonna skip the food and snacks today because it's always so expensive. So it's a quick flight, so don't eat any chips, don't eat any candy. 
Let the truth ring out in the land that airport food is overly priced and it's the same stuff you can get at the grocery store. Save that travel budget and pack your own snacks. I was traveling with my family and realized my sister does such a good job packing snacks for the kids, the adults need snacks too. There's a wide variety of food that you don't have to keep cold that you can bring through TSA. You can make sandwiches or even bring your own salads. If you are packing a sandwich, maybe skip the peanut butter to be conscious and courteous to other travelers. Sauces and condiments can also make it through TSA. Just make sure they're an appropriate size container, three ounces or less. Or even just ask the restaurants in the terminals for some condiments. I like to use a hard plastic container for things like chips or crackers that can easily get crushed. Just make sure you're maximizing the space that you have in your carry-ons. There's so many varieties of lunch boxes and bento boxes to keep your food safe and secure while you travel. Although I can't carry coffee through security, definitely bring that empty water bottle to fill up on the other side. And so you don't have to spend four or five dollars for a soda inside, bring along some flavor enhancers. Is this three ounces? Hold on, let me check. Oh, 1.6, we're good. Cleared for TSA, baby. Ooh, that's so fun. On my most recent trip, I forgot a refillable bottle, so I just kept this bottle and refilled it at the airport. You know, reuse. Whether it's food or something else, TSA has a handy feature in their app where you can search items to see if they can pass through security. Snacks. Oh, snacks, definitely approved. Just can't be gels or liquids. Many people don't know this, but you can fly with ice, not jewelry, actual ice. Generally, food items that are frozen solid can make it through TSA. On a trip to Seattle, I bought king crab legs at the Pike Place Fish Market, and I could fly with it on the plane. It was packed up, ice and all, and I made it through. Who knew? If you are planning to travel with something frozen, it is best to just check ahead. You can bring exactly what you want, have plenty of options, and save money in the process. Now that's smart travel. And it's already time to head back home. Quick trip. I bought some souvenirs, so my suitcase is really loaded down. Did some shopping and used up all the extra space in my suitcase. The also nice thing I like about traveling back in the morning is that I have a whole day ahead of me. So it's not like you get back late and the day is wasted. It's like I'm back, barely feels like I even traveled. Welcome home. Which way is the sky train? This way? Yeah, oh, it's right here. It's so busy today though. So many people. Is it a holiday, special occasion? What's going on? The airport is so nice and clean and beautiful. I'm so lucky to have this as my home airport. Ain't that travel. Cold on the airplane, hot or cold or raining, wherever you're going. The key is to transition your outfit. Ah, much better. Through my years of travel, I've had to learn some tough lessons like being caught in the rain and lost luggage. Here's how to outsmart travel mishaps. No matter the time of year, I tend to travel with a small umbrella. Even if you're checking the weather in advance, rainstorms can catch you unprepared. This train is so hard to stand up in because it doesn't like take a smooth path. It goes up and down and like rocks side to side. It's probably safer to sit, but I like to I like the physical challenge of not falling over. <laughs> Almost gotcha. Uh, until next time, airport, which is next week. I'm flying again next weekend. Oh, it's so toasty here. Which reminds me to remind you, check the weather a few days before and the morning of your travel. Look at that. Sneaky rain later in the week. It's an old travel standby, but dress in layers and dress comfortable. I also like to dress for my destination or bring an easily accessible outfit. I recently went on a family trip to Costa Rica and the weather in LA was drastically different being that close to the equator. So glad I had easy clothes to change into to start chasing waterfalls. Carrying on an outfit and those essentials like socks and underwear are great if that luggage gets lost or delayed. Keeping a small deodorant and toothbrush can also go a long way to feeling fresh on the go. You're definitely gonna travel better and you can learn from my mistakes. Like a lasagna, I like to travel with layers or an onion if you're Shrek. Every time I go somewhere, there's a line in the Lord of the Rings. You know where Frodo leaves. I'm going on an adventure. He's got his backpack, he's ready to go. But when you come back home, you're not the same Hobbit anymore. You've been through some stuff, right? That's how I always feel. Where are you, car? I think I'm in the wrong garage. 
I got off on four. I was supposed to go to six. <laughs> Fourth floor is nice this time of year, but it's too exclusive. Sixth floor is for us normal folk. <laughs> for us average citizens. See, free cart. All right, till next time, safe travels.